last week about the numbers that came out from Texas. Some 95,000 non-citizens allegedly registered to vote. And one of the reports said it was believed up to 58,000 of them may have actually voted in one or more elections. Uh, you got plenty of skeptics out there, including uh, one of your state reps there, Rafael Anshia, who is a Democrat, says because we have consistently seen Texas politicians conjure the specter of voter fraud as pretext to suppress legitimate votes, we are naturally skeptical. Well, look, this is just simple math, and this comes from the Secretary of State matching the voter rolls with the Department of Public Saf Safety's licenses. And so these are just numbers of self-reported non-citizens saying that they when they got driver's license and then they registered to vote, that they, that, they, that they weren't citizens. And so those two got matched, and these are just the facts. Okay, so Beth Stevens, Stevens with the Texas Civil Rights Project also commenting on this says, despite those numbers, there's no credible data that indicates illegal voting is happening in any significant numbers. So the report from the Secretary of State said maybe 58,000 non-citizens had voted. That seems significant. She says no credible data. No, I mean this is this is new data, and this is this is credible data. We don't know whether some of those 58,000 have been naturalized since the time that they got their driver's license. So we'll have to verify that. But these people are going to have an opportunity to verify their citizenship. Otherwise, they're going to be knocked off the rolls. And as we investigate, if we find that they weren't citizens and they did vote, we'll start prosecuting. And our prosecutions are significantly up, despite the fact that Representative Anchia and others uh, dispute the fact that we have voter fraud. But it's real and. Unfortunately, we're dealing with it. Okay, uh, one other critic I want to give you a chance to respond to. Kristen Clark with the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights under the law says this, Texas has a rich history of undertaking action to make it harder for people to vote. She says, we'll have to test the veracity of their claims. Uh, are you or other state officials willing to open the doors on this so they can see what you've looked at and uh, draw their own conclusions about the data? Sure. Ultimately, you know, we're about transparency in government in this state. We're not afraid of the, the truth. Uh, we're not afraid of the facts. And if the facts show that we have voter fraud, we're going to prosecute it. We're not going to run from it. And obviously there's a narrative in the media and often with the left that there is no voter fraud, but the, the, the facts just do not bear that out in my state. It's just, it's just not the truth. Yeah, and we followed some of those recent cases and prosecutions that you have uh, successfully mm -hmm. taken before a jury and gotten the conviction. So we'll continue to follow this as well. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, thanks for your time. Hey, thank you. It's an important.